Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> or maybe this? Unfortunately, it happens to us all at some point, sometimes many times, and it can last for days, weeks, months, which then leads to demotivation, and it's just, it's not good. So in this video, I'm going to share a few tips with you to help overcome a creative block. If you like this kind of content with music production, writing music, and basically just having some fun, then why don't you subscribe to the channel? Now, before I start, I just want to say that these tips are not... 100% going to mean that you'll never get creative block again. These are just some things that help me and hopefully you can take something away from it. And some of them might seem a little bit obvious. Like number one, listen to music. More particularly, listen to something you've never heard before. Go on to Spotify or SoundCloud, Bandcamp, all these places and look for something brand new. Pick a band or a singer you've never heard of and just press play. And don't press play, have a little listen and then skip. No, listen to the whole thing. Just listen to something new and fresh that you've never heard before. I find is really inspiring. And pay attention to how that piece of music is constructed in terms of its instrumentation, arrangement, uh, genre as well. It's very important. Listen to music in a different genre of something you don't normally listen to can be very, very helpful. So give that a go. Part two of point one listen to your own music listen to all the stuff that you're really happy with because you might be in a, having a creative block in terms of writing the same thing or you may feel that you're writing the same thing all the time um, that your music's just too similar listen to all the stuff you're really happy with and again pay attention to what you've done in it in terms of its production the instrumentation uh, the key that it's in because then when you do start writing you're going to be more conscious of what you've already done and what not to play point two write something in a different genre and that leads on quite nicely from the previous point listen to something brand new try and write something in the same genre as what you've just listened to now i'm not a big fan of hip-hop or electronic music and r&b i'm more a rock guy i like doing orchestral music but I've been experimenting with doing hip hop music and beat making and things like that. It's a really good idea to step out of your comfort zone creatively. Take a step back from what you're used to doing and move forward with something brand new that you've never done before. It can be very, very useful. And then perhaps blend the new stuff in with what you usually do. Like I do orchestral music and rock and blues stuff. Mix in a bit of hip hop with that or a bit of electronic. Mix things up. Point three, tempo and time signatures. Very useful. Most DAWs default to 120 beats per minute. And if you're starting to write an idea, you're just coming up, you're just messing around on the keyboard and coming up with an idea, you decide to record that before you forget it. And if you continue to work this way, all your music's going to be at 120 beats per minute. <laughs> so go in with an empty session or with your template open, doesn't, doesn't matter what it is, and change the tempo straight away. Time signatures as well is now this for me definitely a hundred percent works. I would say maybe ninety percent this will work for everybody. Most music we listen to and most music we write, ninety percent is probably going to be in four four timing. We're so used to hearing that one two three four one two three four. Change the time signature. I did this a couple of years ago. I wrote something in seven eight for the first time, and it was a little bit confusing at first. Because you're so used to that one, two, three, four, this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It takes a little bit of time to get your head around. I would suggest starting with three, four, because it's a little bit easier uh, rhythmically to get your head around than seven, eight, or 1925. Well, <laughs> some crazy time signature. Don't go mad. And the reason that this works very well is because from a rhythmical point of view, you are forced to write differently because you're out of that usual one, two, three, four all the time, which is ingrained in your brain. Change the time signature and 
just experiment with it because rhythmically it's all going to sound different. Point four, that folder. You know exactly the one that I'm talking about because we've all got it. Your project folder where you've got all your projects you're working on, you're really happy with, blah, blah, blah. But there's about another 50 folders within that folder. Some of them are named Untitled 5, Test 6, all those things. Unfinished stuff. Open up one of those sessions and just have a listen. Because I guarantee you will find something in there where you'll go, Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That was quite good. Yeah. Finish it. You've got loads of ideas on your hard drive that you've just not finished yet. So if you've got a creative block, you can't think of anything new to come up with, go back to something old that you wrote, I don't know, three years ago, last week, two months ago, whatever it is. As I said, you'll find something in there that you really like and something that you were maybe happy with at the time. Go and finish it off. Point five, just write something. And you may be thinking, but I can't write anything. I've got a creative block and you're telling me to write something that doesn't make sense James the reason you think you can't write is because we never intend to sit down and write something bad we always want to write something good and that's where the creative issue comes from if you just write something it doesn't matter if it's good or bad give it a beginning a middle and an end and just finish as I said before with all these unfinished ideas just finish it and then you've got a new piece of music it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. And the reason you should do this is the same as how do you get better at playing the guitar? How do you get better at playing the piano or the accordion or the hurdy-gurdy? Whatever it is, practice. How are you going to nail that guitar solo note for note from Sweet Child of Mine? You have to practice. Apply that same method to writing music. Like, let's write some music videos on this channel. That's just me practicing and having fun. There are a few episodes I've recorded which I haven't put on YouTube because I've found a really good idea and I've developed it further. So just sit down and play. Play something, anything. It doesn't matter. You are good. You can write. Don't get stressed. Writing music and listening. Music shouldn't be stressful. It's there to make you happy. It's there to make you feel things. Well, I suppose stress is a feeling, but <laughs> we'll ignore that just now. So, that's my tips for how to get over a creative block. As I said at the beginning of the video, these aren't 100% going to fix everybody's creative issues, but I just thought I would share some stuff that helped me and hopefully they can help you as well. And if you have any pieces of advice to get over a creative block that I've not mentioned, please stick it in the comments below. That would be absolutely amazing. So, thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.